What is going on, guys? We are going to read this developer's message from Kuro Games or Kuro, however you want to pronounce it, um, about weathering waves, right? If I had to guess, this is probably something similar to what they did in their video, where the, the developer video, where they said they've reworked everything and stuff like that. If I had to guess, this is probably just another reiteration of that. Or maybe we will see some new stuff that they didn't say in the video. But either way, I, wa I want to. I want to read it together, right? Especially someone, I just got into CBT2, so I'm like freaking out. I want to do everything all at once. And it's like, bah! it's crazy. So uh, let's read this together. It says, Greeting, greetings, rovers. It has been a while since the previous Weathering Waves beta test. First and foremost, we would like to express our gratitude to each and every one of you who have been following and supporting the development of Weathering Waves. During this interlude, our team has made extensive changes, adjustments, and optimizations to the game contents based on feedback and suggestions we receive from you. This right here is the best way that any developer can start a message. It just is. This is like, check it out. I play World of Warcraft, right? <clears throat> and right now, World of War Dragonflight, World of Warcraft, the current WoW expansion is going to, is being received so well right now. And the reason for that is consistency in patch content and the developers actually listening to feedback and communicating with their audience. This is something that is so, so important for any game developer. The fact that Kuro Games went out of their way over the past eight months, completely changed their game altogether based on feedback and suggestions and went and rebuilt it based on those suggestions and feedback is tremendous. Tremendous. This is why I think this game is going to see a lot of success because if there's open communication between its fan base and the developers and they take suggestions and we keep giving feedback and we just keep building on that, you will, th this game developer will be successful 100%, I guarantee it. As long as they maintain an open connection with their audience, we're golden, man, we're golden. As soon as they stop doing that, that's when we start to get into some, you know, other gotcha game territory type stuff. <laughs> anyway, before you embark on the next round of testing, we would like to share with you a summary of our development process over the past 10 months. So this is just a recap of kind of that video. Either way, let's still read it. And also a few sneak peeks of some new content that will be featured in the second closed beta test. Yes, there is some new stuff. Okay, so story revision. Stories are a crucial part of a world as expansive as Wuthering Waves and have been our priority in the list changes. During this period, we performed a thorough overhaul of the in-game stories, removed settings that were deemed unsatisfactory, and made adjustments to character designs accordingly. With the above changes, necessary modifications also needed to be made to the overall story flow, animations, voiceovers, and other resources. Makes sense? In this iteration of the test, we have implemented the skip function. This is great. So, some people are gonna are, are gonna be like super mad if they didn't have it. Some people, you know, probably freaking out about this because they don't want to sit through the story. Um, however, you know. I get it. I get it. I did that with Genshin a lot of the times. I just wanted to skip through all the shit. Um, so they implemented the skip function, which aims to improve the player's overall speed and pacing when experiencing some story missions. In addition, the inclusion of resonator story missions for Jian and Lin Yang will help players fully experience the charm of these resonators in conjunction with supporting game modes to gain a grasp of a more immersive gaming experience. So great, we have like, <clears throat> they have their side quests. We're gonna get to do their side quests and hear their backstory. And we'll really start to get some depth for some of these characters, which does build upon your relationship with the game and the characters in itself, right? If you're more attached to a character and then something happens to that, whatever happens to that character in the anime or the game, you feel a strong emotion towards. And that's what that's what has people fall in love with games, man, or anime TV shows, you know? So this is great stuff. This is great. This is all good. Ooh, this looks, it looks good. I mean, yeah, the world exploring looks pretty, pretty fucking sweet, right? Okay. Improvements to combat. I know some of the concerns were like the, 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 the shake, the screen shake and stuff. So 
The combat system from the previous beta was well received by the community. Using it as a foundation, we have made optimizations to the overall combat loop experience centered around the intro skill and outro skill. Detailed adjustments were made to aspects such as character skill effects, general combat mechanics, screen shaking, camera lock-on, etc. etc. Echo skills were also further improved, giving them smoother performances, and Echo skills boasting special utilities will also serve as countermeasures during necessary combat situations. This is great. This is great. This is mean we can we can use certain types of echoes to uh, do different type or uh, different types of combos and counters, right? Using their own special utilities. So like one echo might have like a charge ability. The next echo might have a fly ability and maybe we'll be able to utilize that in combat, right? Maybe we can grip to our echo in the air and do some aerial combat or whatever it is, right? But that's essentially what this means. Three new resonators, uh, Jian Shin, Lin Yang, and Kal Kalcharo have been introduced into the game for players to experience along with three bosses. Let's go. Impermanence Heron, Mech Abomination, and Tempest Mephis, plus a new phase of Scar, or a new phase for Scar. I didn't get to see the first phase for this, and we can experience it all together in my stream if you want. Ronan underscore II. Go over to Twitch and follow me there, and we can all experience this together. While reducing the complexity for players to gain the know how of the in game combat system, we also added high difficulty elites and uh, and the Tactical Hologram Calamity game modes placed around various areas of the map, which greatly reward players that are seeking for challenges. So what this means, it's a world event, right? You'll be exploring and you might just stumble upon a, tac um, a Tactical Hologram Calamity where it's like this big boss um, just in the open world. And you can go through, um, it's obviously high difficulty right so it is a challenge and then doing so will they do say greatly reward players so good rewards this is all th this is exactly what you need in a game it is the more challenging the content the more rewards you get that's what drives players it is so this is fantastic our goal is for players, regardless of skill level or appeal for action games, to become engaged as quickly as possible and fully experience the smooth and satisfying combat Weathering, ways, weathering Waves has to offer. This is also great. I do have some concerns as far as skill cap goes because, you know, as like, I play WoW and one of the, one of the things you see a lot there is that there is a very strong meta and there are players who don't have high skill that want the rewards of what the high skill players are getting, even though they don't have the, do you know what I mean? And there's like this big controversy that goes back and forth. Like I want the best rewards, even though I'm not doing the hardest content kind of thing. I hope there's, there's just a mature understanding of, yeah, if you're going to do the harder content, you will be rewarded more. Okay. So graphic quality improvements. The adjustments to the in-game visuals introduced a more comfortable and polished appearance. Internally, the team implemented a more detailed atmosphere tier system to address the player feedback of visual fatigue experienced from the previous test. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so they must have gotten feedback about the, um, you know, like weather... Thus, focused optimizations were put into place to model rendering, shapes, spatial effects... Oh, sp uh, special effects, clothing designs, etc., etc., based on characters' experience. Okay. Okay. They made everybody's clothes look a little neater, and they and they did some atmospherical changes um, to make it look a little more crisper. During this test, players will have the opportunity to witness and be immersed in weather phenomena like the etheric sea, celestial anomaly, and retroact rain, unique to the world of weathering waves. In specific areas distinctively, designed scenarios have been placed by combining our concept designs, hoping to bring players a different experience. This is just referring to like weather changes, things that you know what this does is it makes it, it makes the world of weathering waves feel more alive. You walk into this zone and it's snowing and it's like a blizzard or whatever. You walk close to the beach and maybe there's 
uh, this etheric sea kind of thing going on, right? Or retroact rain. So, so this is a nice change. This will just make the, the world feel more alive. So they went and did optimizations to echoes and new in-game events. Okay. Compared to the previous test, we included a dedicated tutorial guide for the echo system while also lowering the difficulty of discovering and obtaining echoes in the previous test. After obtaining an echo for the first time, the chances of re-obtaining it in the same tacit field will be increased the more you challenge it. Okay, so you can get copies. The current echo kit adopts a tag-based system, which makes for versatile combinations and strategies based on the circumstances. Players will now also have the opportunity to encounter and collect elusive echoes. Final name may vary in, in, in the game, right? So elusive echoes is subject to change. <laughs> These echoes possess special appearances and features, but you won't spoil them just yet. Okay, so yes, let's go, dude. We got that Pokemon feature, right? We already knew it had a Pokemon-esque type thing where you would capture these echoes, but now you can get the shiny versions of them. Yes, dude, this resonates with so many people. It really does, right? Some of you guys might think a system like this is kind of dumb or whatever, but uh, I think this is a smart move for them because this kind of stuff resonates with them so much. Now, players will get together and be like, yo, let's go get that shiny Echo over here by the mountain or whatever. Like, And you can team up and do this shit. This is great. This is good, good stuff. What do we got here? Ooh. What was that? A shiny cat? Interesting. Look at the grass. Oh, dude. I don't want to overhype the game. I really don't. Okay, this is the last bit here. As the game is currently in its development phase, some of the content players experience are still works in progress builds, which may lead to unpleasant gaming experiences. Players will find some voiceover content for the characters and storylines absent within the game. But rest assured, these contents are undergoing rigorous development as we perform further improvements to the game. Players participating in the beta test from mobile devices may experience increased power consumption, overheating, and other issues for certain devices. Cross-platform performances, various UI interfaces, in-game text localizations, and existing voiceovers will also undergo further optimization down the line. We wish to extend our appreciation for the understanding and support you have given us thus far. We are deeply aware that the game still has many shortcomings and your feedback and suggestions propel us to strive towards the goal of presenting the game enjoyed by all rovers. As we will continue to carry out new features and enhancements to the game. I want to point this out. They put this in quotes. They put enjoyed by all rovers in quotes. Now what this tells me is they have plans to not only cater to the casual audience, but to the more hardcore meta-driven audience, <clears throat> right? Maybe they want to do some end game kind of stuff here. That's the way I see that. Um, and then the last line here, stay tuned uh, to future development, to future developers messages on further updates and improvements to Weathering Waves. Thank you for being part of the Weathering Waves community and we hope to see you soon in the upcoming closed beta. The weathering waves team this is again i said it earlier in this video but this is so important this this being up front like this with your audience is it's so goddamn important and and if if this back and forth between player and developer continues right and it's healthy this is going to be a successful game I, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. I've experienced it. I've experienced it playing World of Warcraft. There are some expansions where the developers do not listen to feedback. They do not communicate with the player base. And those expansions go down in history as some of the worst World of Warcraft expansions in history. Whereas the others, where there's consistent patch updates and tons of content and they are listening to feedback and, and communicating with the player base, those are some of the best expansions. And so I think from my own experience, successful games, patches, expansions, whatever it is, comes from developers 
listening to their audience and communicating openly. And if Kiro Games does that, we're we're golden, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below on what you guys think. Um, turn on notifications because boy, we're gonna be streaming and playing and putting out tons of videos for this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.